guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Margarita and if you're not, hi, hello and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am testing out the new Juvia's Place foundation. I do have it right here with me. I do have the shade 630. I'm actually, I think I perfectly matched with 620 but they didn't have anything. So I, like I said, I am testing out the Juvia's Place palette palette why am i saying palette i'm testing out the juvia's place foundation it's called i am magic okay so it says i am magic radiant long lasting creamy and comfortable our second skin creamy foundation offers a smooth application with a soft natural and soft matte finish to give a flawless coverage a great formula to even out the complexion refine skin textures and erase blemishes maintaining the initial finish throughout the day Suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and oily. It says it's free from paraben, oil, and cycloplastica. I can't say that, but I'm going to put it like right here. <laughs> so it does say that it's good for 24 months and I believe that's recyclable and they are cruelty free. So I was really shocked at the price point, especially like how tiny this tube is. It is $20, so it's claiming that this is full coverage. So we're gonna have to see. Oh, that is so weird. Oh, wow, you see there's this sticker right here that it's like what shade it is. So it's Capri 630, dude, really? They can't, they really couldn't like put it on here, okay. I find that to be a bit tacky, to be honest. Wow. Hmm. So you do get 30 mill milliliters, which is 1.0 fluid ounces. So this is a fluid ounce for $20. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and review. <laughs> so before anything, I do want to put my e.l.f. Putty Primer on. She's She's got a little bit of love and going on. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this everywhere. So I am doing a review test. A review done. So I do go into work at 1 o'clock today. And I don't get out till like 8.30. Which that's going to be a long shift. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to see how that works out. Like how my foundation is going to be. I'm not going to be putting any powders on or anything like that. Just so I can know what... It's gonna look like if that makes sense so before we do anything i just want to show you a close-up i mean even though this is close enough i just want to show you like the freckles that i have so i have freckles all up over here you can see that and then same thing all on this side just so you guys can see that if it's gonna cover up all this okay so i have my wet sponge my damp sponge this is from beauty bakery i love love these sponges so much so i'm gonna go ahead oh snap i thought i was gonna be able to squeeze it out nope i gotta take it out at least you know it's a brand new bottle got it so here's the product okay okay yep we've yep all right so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this onto my face all this. Okay, let's go ahead and start on this side first. Ooh, ooh, that was a lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this out. Girl, this ain't my shade. Oh, but actually another thing too, when I was swatching, it oxidized. But yet again, I need to blend this out just so it look better. Wow. They said freckles be gone. Wow. Now, I am testing this out with my favorite primer, just for the fact that the primer hasn't done me dirty. It's set very well on the foundations that I have been using. Well, girl, I look white. I mean, it could also be the camera, so <laughs> maybe. But it's okay. We put some bronzer in. We are good to go. Hello, Nikki Tutorials Who? Wait. Hello, Nikki Tutorials Who? I already see my mom. Yes, I got a Blanca. Wow. Oh my gosh. That thing from like that over here, it just spreaded. It spreaded. It spread all the way. Wow. I'm shook. Wow. I actually don't see my freckles at all. Oh my gosh. Wow. I mean, I'm not really like a, like a full coverage person, but I mean, I know sometimes, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Who needs concealer? It's still going. I have not gotten any more foundation. You see how like how white it was at first? Now it's starting to like oxidize over here. 
oh wow you can see my nose right here like it filled in wow my nose actually looks really good so i do want to see how this foundation does play out with other products obviously because you kind of can't go outside the house just with foundation on like no powder and all that so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use the ColourPop no filter concealer and i'm gonna go ahead and apply this just a wee bit under my eye down my nose on my chin and a little bit on my forehead and let's see how this goes yes color pop hello i really like to have like that bright complexion so i'm gonna use this elf baking powder and this is in the shade banana and i'm gonna go ahead and just dip in here I'm going to tap off the excess. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this on my under eye here. Just kind of like apply it all over my nose. It's just pretty much like wherever I put concealer on, that's where I'm going to put this powder at. But I am going to dust it off in a bit shortly. So you can see the brightness compared to here to here. So I'm going to go in using this Milani powder foundation in the shade Natural. My skin feels so freaking like soft. So I'm gonna take this contour palette from e.l.f. and I'm gonna use this shade and a little bit of this one, but with that one too, so I'm gonna just dip in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and carve out my cheekbones or contour my cheekbones. Hello, yes, color in my face, who? It looks really weird, but hold on, we're gonna get somewhere. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the face off camera and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I am back and I finished the rest of the face and yeah, everything has set on the face pretty well with the products. I didn't have any blending issues. I feel like the highlight um, went on a lot prettier to be honest. My skin so far looks pretty good. I don't really see any freckles peeping through. Um, it does say that it is a full coverage foundation. So yeah, um, if you guys are looking at my eyelashes, I've never worn these before. I actually got them yesterday at Ulta and they're the double up lashes and I don't know how I feel about them just for the fact that they're really long. Um, maybe with an eyeshadow look would look a lot better, but not by itself maybe. I don't know. And then my lip gloss. How are you feeling about the lip gloss? I am using the Jeffree Star Wet Peach Lip Gloss. <laughs> And yeah, I am going to be doing a check-in. I am working from like 1 to like 8.30 and all that. So I'll be like checking in. I'm not going to like powder my face or like touch it up or anything. So yeah, alright guys, I will most likely see you at work and then be back here later. So I'll see you in a bit. Hey guys, so it's about been 2, about like an hour and a half or 2. My foundation is looking pretty good still not kicking up or anything at all so yeah I'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys it is 4 45 I'm currently in the bathroom just do this like check-in as you can see I'm like really greasy I'm starting to get like I don't know it's like I literally if you look at it look I just touched my face I'll wipe it look. okay clean finger watch yeah look at that I don't know can you see it I don't know if you can there you go but yeah i'm starting to get like really oh my god you can see it yeah like right now my face is starting to get like really really greasy yeah i'm not i'm not living for this right now um i'm just gonna blot off i said it wasn't but i'm gonna have to Look at all that great. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, but oh my gosh, like my T zone area. Wow. Maybe I just have to bake a little bit longer because I notice that I'm not greasy, like right here. Not cool, not cool. I have by the nose area. Yeah, I said I wasn't gonna do that, but Wow, it's kind of crazy how greasy my paper is right now. Okay, well, I'll check in on you a little bit later. Hey guys, I'm back here at the house in my room here in my little 
filming area question mark hmm. but um yeah as you can see my face is shiny central hello but can we like look how cute she looks though at work as you guys saw in the film like i did have to like blot it away i was getting like really oily here in the t area I actually got really oily on my cheeks and on my chin. I am starting to form a pimple right here now, so... But it is a new foundation, so I guess I just kind of have to work it out. It could have been, like, the moisturizer as well, so I'm gonna have to play around a little bit more with it, obviously. So this video is a first impressions video, so like I said, I did try this out for the very first time. I really liked it when I first applied it. Do I still like it? Yes, it looks really nice. You still don't really see my freckles. Um, and it's actually, like I said, like it's really nice. Um, I do have to experiment with it a little bit more. It could have been my moisturizer that I applied. Maybe I can use a different one or instead of not using moisturizer, I'll just go in with my primer instead or the other way, don't use my primer, just use my moisturizer as a primer question mark I don't know so it says that it's suitable for all skin types including sensitive and oily skin I'm not sure about oily skin um I don't know I look like a grease monkey like a grease ball here so yeah but uh yeah guys so if I did have to recommend this um I really don't know what to say just for the fact that it was a first impressions and I've been wearing this for about nine plus hours so I mean so far it's doing pretty good like the first two hours did really good um the second two hours so like four hours it just kind of started like my skin started getting a bit more oily maybe i just needed to put a little bit more powder in conclusion i guess <laughs> um i really do like the foundation it did cover up my freckles um i really am not a full coverage type of person it's more of like light to medium i mean maybe medium to full i guess but i've never had like a foundation that's been like boom full coverage i guess um but yeah i mean you get one fluid ounce for the two for twenty dollars which isn't that bad and i believe i believe that this is the first time that juvia's place has launched foundation because i know that they do more of like eyeshadows they're known more for their eyeshadows i think um but yeah, if you're really oily, I don't think putting this foundation on would be that good. Um, maybe if you do bake your face, like, a lot, a lot, then maybe. Um, if you have to go to an event that's, like, two hours long, wear it. But, um, yeah, I guess that's just the end of my first impression slash kind of-ish review. But I'll have to let you know in the future videos about how I like it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and comment down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!